Hi guys, it is a frosty night there in mid-October in the collapse of global industrial civilization and that is Thursday, October 20th, 2022. So this is my third snippet of the collapse video and we're going to wind up our three-parter tonight. We're going to talk about this hilarious thing. You're, see, you're, you're seeing more and more of this, and you're going to see more and more of this about this is kind of the duck and cover redux where the mainstream media uh, is promoting the absurd idea that you can survive a nuclear attack. Uh, there's been several articles recently, uh, so here's one that came out today. Uh, you know, I've, I've mentioned these in, in uh, here's an example of one from Business Insider, how to survive a nuclear bomb attack, minute by minute steps to protect yourself. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and I love this. In this article, Vladimir Putin, hmm, yes, as Russian forces take losses on the battlefield in Ukraine, fears are growing that Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has made repeated threats, could resort to nuclear force. Yes. Uh, anyway, enough of this propaganda. What, so, guys, you, you do understand that, I, I mean, I, well, I, I'm, I'm thinking that I, I'm trying to decide what agenda the mainstream media is pushing. What this is, of course, is uh, anti-Russian uh, propaganda. I'm not going to get into whether uh, whether Vladimir uh, the Impaler, uh, Vlad the Impaler, uh, deserves uh, you know what he's getting in the U.S. mainstream media. But this is the latest nuclear fallout from uh, from all this. Uh, this is all about. Vladimir Putin. Make no mistake about it. Anyway, uh, let's get to the point. Uh, okay, let's get to, anyway, some point we're going to get to the point. Okay, so if Vlad the Impaler hits the, hits the red button, I guess, U.S. residents would have roughly 30 minutes or less to find shelter, assuming they were immediately warned of the attack. Yes. Uh, and you might have, in cities like New York, Boston, and D.C., you might have just 10 to 15 minutes to save your ass from a nuclear attack. Yes. All right, so do not forget the minutes to hours after a nuclear blast are a critical window. Uh-huh. Okay. Immediate actions. All right. If you see a mushroom cloud uh, in your neighborhood, if you're walking the dog or whatever, and you see a mushroom cloud, it's right here in Business Insider. Uh, cover your eyes and hunker down in an indoor shelter. Here is how to protect yourself in a worst case, a worst case nuclear bomb attack scenario. Step one. Avert your eyes and shield your face. So when, you know, the initial blast goes off, you see, I don't know if you can see this man, he is 
what you do when when the bomb first hits, you avert your eyes and shield your face. All right. So once you've done that and the mushroom cloud has gone up, uh, let's see what is next. Uh, Okay, the best course of action is simply to avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. When a nuclear bomb strikes, it sets off a flash of light and a giant orange fireball. Yes. So, here is a photo of people. This was from a nuclear drill in Taiwan, you know, the, the same thing is going on in Taiwan where they're talking about a nuclear attack from China. So people demonstrate taking shelter with their hands covering their eyes and ears while keeping their mouth open. So uh, I want you to look at these women in Taiwan. I hope that glare from that light bulb. So uh, get down on your hands and knees, stick your butt up in the air, uh, put your, all right, Sancho, I want you to, okay, you take your paws, Sancho, I want you to listen to this, you, you, you put your head down, you, you put your paws over your eyes and your butt up in the air but you need to keep your mouth open. Don't forget, keep your mouth open, head down, hands over eyes, ass in the air, mouth open. Why would you keep your mouth open to save yourself from the worst case scenario? Uh, probably to pray, yes, so, you drop, this is the CDC, recommends dropping to the ground with your face down and your hands tucked under your body. Well, here their hands are on their faces. Uh, if you have a scarf or a handkerchief, cover, all right, you cover your nose and mouth but make sure to keep your mouth open so your eardrums do not burst from pressure. Yes. All right. So now you've done that. Uh, and, and at some point, you get up off the ground. You wipe the poop out of the back. Well, I don't know if you want to wipe the poop out of the back of your pants or not. Should you wipe the poop out of the back of your pants or not when you stand back up? Anyway, but once you stand back up, so now you have 45 minutes. You have 45 minutes. Now that it's, you know, you just stand up. You know, I mean, why shouldn't you be able to stand up uh, in a nuclear attack? And you seek shelter indoors away from windows. That's assuming there are any windows to stay away from. So 45 minutes after Vlad the Impaler hits you with a nuclear bomb, then you seek shelter indoors away from, in, away from windows. This is assuming, number one, that there's such a thing as indoors or such a thing as windows, or such a thing as buildings. Anyway, but you got 45 minutes to figure that out. You got 45 minutes to figure that out. Uh, oh, well, they say 45 minutes, but then, damn it, they're confusing me. Now it says you would have about 15 minutes before sand-like radioactive particles 
known as nuclear fallout would start raining on your head. Yes. Uh, exposure to this fallout, you know, as if the falling brick wall hasn't already crushed you. Exposure to fallout can result in radiation poisoning, which can prove fatal. Yes. Here we go. I love this stuff. <laughs> This is not, this is not the onion. Okay, guys, this is Business Insider. Business Insider. People should ideally look for shelter in the opposite direction of fallen buildings. <laughs> yeah, you know. I know when I am looking for shelter uh, from a nuclear bomb attack, uh, I'm probably going to look in the opposite direction of all of the buildings, you know, that have been reduced to rubble. You probably don't want to go in that direction. But, uh... Thank God business, you know, business insider hadn't warned me, you know, I, I can see myself. If I hadn't read this article, you know, I'm, you know, sitting there wiping the poop out of my pants and, uh, and deciding which way to run at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I'm going to run in the opposite direction from the rubble. Yes. All right. Immediately seek shelter before the radiation cloud descends. Uh, it would be great if you could find a basement for camping out. Well, Sandy, I think you're in good shape, darling. Run to your basement and camp out in your basement. Yes. Okay. Okay, within the first 20 hours, first 24 hours, so now in the first 24 hours, rinse off in the shower. <laughs> there you go. Rinse off in the shower like uh, like there's really going to be like a public water system, uh, an operating public water system. Or if, like me, you uh, live on a well, like there's going to be any electricity running your pump. So, uh, but anyway, I mean, your water should be running fine. You should have no problem finding a place to take a shower. You got 24 hours. 24 hours to take a shower. Yes. If you don't know what taking a shower looks like, taking a shower to save yourself from a nuclear attack. Uh, but let's see. I think, uh, yeah, make sure the water is warm. You know, you don't want a cold shower. You want a warm shower. You know, if all you can find is a cold shower after a nuclear attack, you know, don't even bother if you can't get warm water and within 24 hours of a nuclear attack. Yes. Um, let's see. Don't scrub too hard. Don't use conditioner. All right, so after you have shampooed, don't use the conditioner. This is a very important rule. Don't use conditioner, body lotion, or face cream after exposure to a nuclear blast. Don't use conditioner, body lotion, or face cream after exposure to a nuclear blast. Yes. Blow your nose and wipe your ears and eyelids. There you go. It is safe to consume food from sealed containers. There you go. 
All right, and wrapping it up, unless you are told to go outside, unless you are told to go outside, probably by the owner of the building where you are holding a gun to your head, saying, get the hell out of my house, uh, you know, unless you're told to go outside by uh, that dude, it's best to stay put until the risk of contamination has gone down. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommends staying indoors for at least 24 hours after a nuclear explosion. So we have 1,345 comments. We're going to hear from some fellow named Humpty Dumpty. What does Humpty Dumpty have to say about this article? Humpty Dumpty. I think anyone who believes one word of this hilarious propaganda deserves to survive a nuclear attack. Why would anyone in their right mind want to survive a nuclear attack? <laughs> Good question, uh, Humpty Dumpty. Oh, Lord. Just make it ground zero. Just a little dog. Uh, you'll probably be uh, safe. You'll probably be in a chipmunk bunker when the big one hits. You're going to be roasting chipmunks over an open fire. Anyway, get out there and save your own ass from a nuclear attack while you still can. Bye, guys.